Back with digital transactions rising in volumes and value over the last one month, the Ministry of Electronics and IT has stepped up efforts to enhance cyber security infrastructure. CNBC TV team's Prerna Baru and Arif Sharwani report that in particular focus is the security used and offered by e-wallet companies. Paytm, Free Charge, MobiQuick. These are just a few of the e-wallet companies that have seen an unprecedented surge in business over the last one month. Initial estimates suggest that the number of transactions using e-wallets have jumped nearly threefold since the 8th of November. And this has pushed cyber security, or the lack thereof, into the limelight. Companies and governments and banks have to build these systems in a better manner. Are we all there yet? Of course not. There is no foolproof system. Do we need to invest in cyber security? Yes. Do we need to invest in cyber capacity? Yes. Uh, do we need to invest in cyber hygiene? Yes. I think the answer lies with the fact that we need to educate mm -hmm. at all layers. Okay. Cyber hygiene is as important as regular hygiene. I think the next campaign has to be around that. The government has already begun stepping on the gas and specific steps to audit, review and handle security firewalls is on in earnest. We have already put all our systems on immediate alert. We are keeping a close watch of the situation. We have also issued detailed advisories to all the banks uh, to see what are the steps that they need to put in place. We have also uh, spoken to the RBI and the RBI is also fully monitoring the situation. This even as chipset maker Qualcomm has gone on record to say that e-wallets and mobile banking applications in India are not using hardware level security, making them easy targets for cyber criminals. In response, the Ministry of Electronics and IT says it has sounded out e-wallet companies to pull up their socks and enhance security protocols. Uh, some of the e-wallets are not as secure as we would like them to be, but we are happy to note that many of them have started taking action to make sure that uh, they are secure. This puts the pressure on fintech companies to stand up and deliver, especially as the government is pushing ahead with incentives to move towards a cashless economy. And the customer gravitates towards the product that offers the maximum protection and security. In New Delhi with Prerna Barua, Harib Sherwani.